Hello there, my name is Azad Mardan. I'm the founder of Node University. Welcome to Node University Short Lectures. In this short lecture, I will be talking about Node.js versions. Not many people know that there are always two Node.js versions. Some people are confused because they go to nodejs.org and they look at two versions. One of them is an odd number and another it's an even number. And they think that the highest number is the latest and they might read my books or watch my courses. In my books and courses, I usually use a lower number. I use an even number such as four, six, eight, or 10, which is, will be coming in the next year. So what is the difference? One version is long-term support, LTS. That's the version that you want to focus on, you want to use in your projects, you want to use for the production applications. Why? Because it's a long-term support. Any security vulnerability, any patches, the core team promises to maintain that version longer. For example, version number four, it will be in the maintenance, in the LTS maintenance until April of 2018. So right now it's December 2017 and the version started in 2015, that version number four. So you can imagine three years, that's a good window. You cannot say that for the odd number such as five, seven, nine, they are not as long-term. They're not supported in the long-term. They're more experimental. They're testing ground for the features. So those features can be included in the next LTS version. So use LTS. Right now is December 2017. The LTS, the active LTS is six, but also eight. So you have an option. I prefer you to use number uh, version 8. It has all the ECMAScript latest features, ES6, ES7, ES8, and uh, it will be supported until December 2019. So for two more years, it will be supported, exactly two more years since the day of this recording. Also the versions, they have names. The LTS versions, they have names. For example, this version number eight, it has a name Carbon. C-A-R-B-O-N, Carbon. The way they uh, pick the names, they take the periodic table of the chemical elements. So version number four, it's Argon. Version number six, it's Boron. B-O-R-O-N, Boron. And uh, not version number 10 doesn't have a name yet. And version number 10 will be available in October 2018, so almost a year from now. So for your own projects, you can use an odd number, but for a serious project, use a long-term support number. And also those code names, they are available to you as the Docker base images. You can also pull from Orgon or Boron or Carbon and get official Docker container. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.